This week's news from the tubes on F5 Live Refreshing Technology is proudly powered by Malwarebytes. Whether you use a PC, a Mac, or a mobile device, Malwarebytes Premium is the company's strongest protection ever. It fights threats that traditional antivirus software can't stop, plus it actively blocks threats like worms, rogues, dialers, trojans, spyware, and a whole lot more. It allows you to use your computer and mobile devices with confidence and peace of mind. To learn more and to get a special price, you can go to f5live.tv slash malwarebytes. If you haven't been paying attention to social media this week, uh, something interesting happened. Uh, Meta launched a competitor for Twitter. Now, Twitter has been in a weird place lately. Um, since Elon Musk made his purchase of the company possibly on accident or whatever happened there. Um, it has been a little bit like watching a roller coaster where if you saw the roller coaster that has the crack in the, in the, the pole, a little bit like riding that roller coaster because it is a constant fear of, uh, something falling off getting lost um that's been that's been the feeling for kind of everybody on twitter um over the last couple of months other organizations have tried to fill the void uh you know there was blood in the water and the sharks are out um the largest of those sharks either ironically or um purposefully was mastodon uh, they came in and tried to uh, to fill the void. Um, the sign-up process is not particularly user-friendly, which has caused problems uh, for user growth over there. Um, then there was Blue Sky, which started inside of Twitter and got spun out at some point and um, seems to still be spinning somewhere. But Meta, Meta's Instagram launched what was originally known internally as Project 92, today is known as Threads. It is, interestingly, it's possible that Elon Musk best described it as Instagram without the photos. Um, and in fact, it's almost exactly Instagram, except when you post an image, it's below the text instead of above. Um, the iconography is very similar. It's a more rounded off version of the icons, but Overall, the iconography is even the same, you know, heart and paper are plain, all the things that, that we've come to know on Instagram uh, mostly follows over. But Threads is confusing. Uh, I've been spending a lot of time on it, trying to wrap my head around it, and the thing that I have come away with is that's what everybody's doing. Everybody's trying to wrap their head around exactly what Threads is and what Threads will become. Um, right now, there are a bunch of brands that are acting strangely. For example, one of the social media managers for IGN posted a picture of their dog today and said, I know this is IGN's account, but I wanted you to see Daisy. If they, I feel like if they did that on, on Twitter, that would have been the end of their job. Maybe but, the boss isn't watching. It's a, oh, so it's a great analogy because that is the whole feeling on threads. Nobody's boss is watching because nobody knows what it is. No. <laughs> and so I, I've been describing it as a kaleidoscope. Because occasionally you can see what you want to see. And then if you move even a little bit, back to chaos. <laughs> because the feed, the feed has nothing to do with you. And, and as more accounts join, um, it's less to do with you. Like, I've made a couple of new friends on threads in the early hours. Um, we are quickly approaching 100 million um, claimed accounts. Um, as, as we sit here now, I, it's well over 90 million. Um, and, you know, 
I was active under 500,000. And so I'd see a lot of the same people. Um, and so like I posted, one of my first posts was, I don't understand what's happening here. Um, the Uber feed seems to just be sheer chaos. And somebody who I don't know, who I'm not following, who is not following me, commented and said, I was about to say the same thing. And then a random person I don't know said it first. So I'm just going to go with yours. <laughs> I... It's this weird like discovery platform right now. Because it doesn't matter who you follow and who you don't follow. Unless you've muted people, there are accounts you're guaranteed to see. <laughs> and it's not because they're paying for, for that view. You're just going to see them. They're not people you're interested in. Most of what I see through the feed is not anything I've, I'd possibly be interested in. And I've been going on a blocking and muting spree to try and rein it in. I, I, it's they, chaos. They have to know that's not a good idea, right? I don't know. Because I don't Why know. They... I don't know if they know what it is yet. Um, there's a what? whole... There's a whole language that's that's being developed by the community on the platform in real time, which has been fun to watch. What do we call a post on here? Is it a thread? Is it a... Are, what are we doing? Are we threading? Are we weaving? What Like, there's this whole language that's developing in real time, in posts. It's kind of like a group chat. That has gotten way out of hand. <laughs> I mean, maybe, I don't know, maybe, uh, I mean, look, they got to do somebody's, if they were to put the effort into it, there's no question that Meta could, um, could be a serious competitor to Twitter because Twitter is going off the rails. Like, it's really, really going off of the rails, but there's not there's not a great heir apparent, right? Like Mastodon is too confusing. Yeah. Like I set up an account, but like you can be on one Mastodon server and you need to set up an account on another Mastodon yeah. server. And like it, it should be across servers because they're federated, but it doesn't seem yeah. to work that way. So that's frustrating. Uh, like Blue Sky, I you know, I guess, but it's a whole new thing they're taking a something that's already has a user base mm -hmm. from a company that knows how to do social media mm -hmm. right and, they got four of them already right so there's no re so like they're in a great position to do this yeah i'm not and, saying and it's it, using instagram existing instagram accounts so yep so they've already got a massively active user base. They were able to send push notifications to everybody. Hey, Threads is ready. Click here. And all you have to do is hit a button. Yep. It imports your profile. You hit another button. It follows all of your friends as they create their Threads accounts. Yep. Automatically. Yep. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, they know, they know how to do this. I, I, I'm not to say that I... You know, this actually is turning Zuckerberg into like this is the best thing for Zuckerberg's reputation. I think that's happened in a while because yeah. he actually looks sane. He uh -huh. actually looks sane, sane and reasonable now. Uh, I mean, I just had up here what Elon Mu Elon Musk said today. Actually, this hour, he he's I, I oh, won't God. even repeat, but he's like he's like going around like this is what the richest man or one of the richest men in the world has time to do with himself, I guess, because he has so much money. It doesn't matter if he loses it or loses most of it. You know, he, he goes, he's going around posting. People are asking about uh, threads and he's filling around posting. Zuck is a cock. Yeah, I saw that. Asking. I saw whether... that. As a, I saw that as a screenshot of the tweet on threads, just as a note. Right. He also said uh, less than an hour ago that he would like to uh, get into a contest with Zuckerberg where they measure each other's uh, genitalia to see hmm. who has the biggest. Okay. Like, so that is what, that is what 
the that is the kind of business person, <laughs> uh, business genius that owns Twitter now. Like and that, I I have argued for a long time that he is no business genius. He ended up on the right, right side of the argument about PayPal or something, and <laughs> the rest of it is accidents. Right, I mean, the thing the thing is, I don't know if this is what this shows is that. He was always this eccentric and he's gotten the platform to do it mm-hmm. or and and he's gotten enough money that he does no longer cares uh, or whether what it really shows is that if you get this much money, you don't care about earning money anymore. And it's just a play thing yeah. where, you know, like for you and I, like we would be like, hey, we need more money. But mm-hmm. maybe there's a point at which going from like. 50 billion to 100 billion is meaningless. Like, right. what are you going to do with the other 50 billion? Right. Oh, I guess you might as well have a good time, you know, acting like a 12 year old on uh, on social media. So, like, you know, whereas, like, I don't know what kind of people they are in private, but uh, Jeff Bezos and uh, Mark Zuckerberg, like, they're in this to make money. Like, mm-hmm. Or it's se- seemingly so, right? Like they do, they don't make business, they don't make business decisions about what feeds their ego today, right. you know, or, or who they dislike and want to insult or whatever. It's like, right. no, I want to do what's good for business for making mm-hmm. money. So, so uh, yeah, I mean, Twitter is in, Twitter is in a bad place and not just because of the personality, not just because Elon Musk says uh, alienating things that are embarrassing to the brand. Uh, I mean, that would be one thing, but you know, things like last week when they started to limit the amount of tweets people could see, Mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, the, uh, the fact that they've had, you know, technical problems because they let people go. They had, they've gotten rid of a lot of the people who do moderation. Uh, Like you'd advertisers, really it's not an ad a brand safe place to be um so yeah i mean like there's nothing that twitter does the value that comes to twitter is who's there yeah the technology does not is not hard to reproduce right so this business of him suing threatening to sue or suing Mm -hmm. uh meta because they copied his design like it's not like irc or something it's claiming that well claiming that they hired former twitter employees for their knowledge and then um the head of legal maybe for meta posted on threads we do not employ a single former employee of twitter oh on the threads team so oh, okay, uh, so I mean, so I, I was reading that everywhere, and I guess I assumed that it was correct. Although it doesn't matter, I don't think it matters because what they're asking, like, there's no, there's nothing secret about no. how to program something that shows stuff in a threaded that design. Like, there's no magic yeah. to it. It's not some special algorithm or whatever. I mean, it's actually clear that they haven't done a lot of work on the algorithm. Correct. Um, or they have, uh, and that, they have a weird idea. That they're testing. It's possible. The thing I keep reminding people of is we are part of a very public alpha. Because Um, two weeks ago, I think it was two weeks ago, I wrote an article for a show we didn't do uh, (laughs) because of personal things. Um, I wrote an article about Project 92. And they didn't have a release window for it yet. And here we are two weeks right. later, and it's in the wild. There's almost 100 million users. This is the most public alpha of software that has ever been. There's no there's no account switching. There's I even stuff that's in Instagram. And it seems like they just like right-click copied the solution for Instagram and pasted it and started from there. And there's still right. things from Instagram that aren't here. So, so let me, let me give you an idea of the, the, the thing that's happening over there, right? So on my feed, I have NVIDIA GeForce Philippines 
posted, Happy Video Game Day, how are you celebrating? And Logitech G replied, Caffeine and video games, not necessarily in that order. This is the kind of like weird conversations between brands that is happening a lot. There's so much, like, as I scroll, there's Astro Gra Gaming posted and Logitech replied. <laughs> Razor posted and Logitech replied. Like, <laughs> I don't know what's happening here. I see more brand stuff than I do people stuff at this point. So I don't know what this is. I don't think anybody knows what it is. I think everybody's playing around and hoping somebody will figure it out. <laughs> right. Yeah. Who knows? All I can uh, say is I mean, it's I think it's a, a really good idea. fun weekend. It's I mean, I just haven't had a lot. I haven't had any time to play with it. I, I really do want to play with it because, look, first of all, I see Twitter's in some trouble. I actually spend a lot of time on Twitter. I probably spend more time on Twitter now than I did before uh before it was in trouble and i don't know why i guess it's i found interesting people to stuff to read and whatever and that's fine like it's it's still like a decent ex user experience the problem is that the platform is is sinking right but um i mean all that twitter would need to get back to being an okay user to being okay would be to have competent people who were committed to keeping it stable and not just trying to like squeeze it for squeeze you for money uh you know run it but at the present time that doesn't look good and and they're hurting their value so yeah. i don't know i i but i have to try these other platforms because if there's a chance someone will click a link that i'll put on them uh i i gotta you know i gotta try it now twitter doesn't really result in a lot of traffic for most websites that that post their stuff to twitter yeah. that's that's a known fact facebook actually recently has done a lot to hurt. This is out there in sort of the SEO community. Yeah. Facebook uh, recently, as of like May, mass changed something where people are getting a, a lot less traffic from Facebook, mm -hmm. putting links on Facebook than they used to. And yep. Facebook also put a warning message on external links for no apparent reason. Hmm. Uh, I guess, I guess one way to try to discourage people from clicking. So like. Interesting. You know, you click on it. Uh, I don't know if this happens all the time, but it seems to happen a lot. You click, you see something in Twitter, you click on the link, and then it says like, "Warning, you're leaving. T you're leaving Facebook." Like mm -hmm. on Facebook, "Warning, you're leaving Facebook." Why do I need a warning? It's a link. I know that, but I think that's going to like, and then you got to click. You know, okay, I'm. I want to leave. So I think those sorts of things are are meant are designed to keep people from leaving. Yeah. Well, I've seen a couple people. There might be people watching right now that have come through threads tonight. So, yeah. it's because I posted it over there just to see what would happen. And I think I've seen some click throughs on it. So, but tomorrow, who knows? Because it's this weird, ever evolving platform. What it is today is not what it was on Friday. <laughs> So, I don't know. It's a weird moving target, and it's been a f it's been a fun weekend of watching this weird thing happen. I'm I'm glad that I was in like super early. Um, you know, I'm no, you know, I'm not Aussie man whose uh, account ID I think is 219, but <laughs> uh, Netflix is 90. Two, I think, but you know, I'm a little up there. I like it. I'm in the three hundred thousands, <laughs> so I've been watching it kind of since the first hour, and it's been just a a wild ride watching as the the I don't know the the environment has changed. How like what it is has changed over the last couple of days. It's been a lot of fun. Um, if you're if you're on Threads, uh, Plug Hits Live is on there, so you know check us out. We can chat over there. Uh, it's an interesting experience. If you're not there and you got an Instagram, at least give it a shot. Cause uh, what do you got to lose? 
Hello YouTube, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this episode of F5 Live Refreshing Technology. If you did, please uh, subscribe to the channel down below and of course hit the notification bell because we know that subscriptions don't mean much on YouTube anymore. Uh, if you've got topics that you'd like us to talk about in the future, please uh, comment them down below. And if you'd like to not follow us on YouTube, there's lots of ways that you can follow along with our content by going to plughitslive.com slash subscribe. There you'll see all of our shows and all of the ways that you can watch, listen, and follow along.